Niggas gotta look at it like it's a business. I'ma tell y'all this one thing right here, blood, and I ain't gonna really talk no more. And y'all gonna be able to translate this shit into everything. This the one thing y'all gotta remember about this, this rap shit, blood. Is it's not personal, it's business. It's not personal, it's business. It's not a thin line between it, it's a big giant ass line between business and personal. Translate it into just cause a nigga say he don't like your beat. Don't mean he don't like you, personally. Nigga tell you he don't like your beat, oh fuck you blood, no. That's not, the in, that's not the mentality to have. That's not the mentality to have. Just cause your relative can rap a little bit, don't mean blood gotta be on your album. Just because a nigga don't like your rap, don't mean he don't like you. Just cause a nigga fuck with your auntie, don't mean he gotta be your manager. Or don't mean he gotta be on your album. Feel what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is keep the bar high, blood. If a nigga, if you don't like a nigga beats, that don't mean y'all can't have a personal. Or just cause a nigga don't like your rap, don't mean you, you can't be boo with blood still. Fuck it. But just cause a nigga, the homie from the set, don't mean blood gotta be on your record. Is blood, is blood gonna add to your business? Is blood gonna add to your business? Cause if you think every nigga that Lil Weezy grew up with is on his records, then you, you smoke crack part time or something, blood. If you if you can go back and say the last time, think of the last think of the last nigga time you seen a nigga with Weezy that really wasn't busted. And the reason I say Weezy, cause I'm you know I'm, I'm saying hi or whoever it is. Master P was the last nigga that got off my auntie is gonna be on my record and we all, we, cause it wasn't about the music, it was about blood had it bracket, they whole town was supporting their shit, you know what I mean? Blood oversaturated the market. Okay, so so so, so that, that that's the one thing, Don't I, that means don't be expecting, you know, y'all can have whatever for me, I'm gonna give y'all whatever I got, that's my motherfucking problem, I get whatever. Yeah, come in. Uh, little move. Hey, hey, hey! Be a homie, go. What's up, my nigga? Oh, KG, what's up, your homie? Yeah, that. Welcome to the, you know, to the, to the, to the, to the granny club, bro. Yeah. It's all boo. Y'all come here, you know. What up, man? I'm hop on this planet, bounce, blood. But when I'm here, blood, y'all need fucking come through, fuck with a nigga. Okay, yeah, that. Hold on. And then last but not least, blood, what was the last thing I was, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Here go, this is what's going, this is the answer. Y'all niggas want to make it in bracket? Here's the answer to us, all, all, everything we got right now. Here go the answer. This is the answer. Making good music fast. Not making music fast, making good music fast. Look at every nigga. Look at every nigga. Who put out more than records or rapped on more shit than Weezy? He started that. No, he did. 50 Cent. Did he start that? 50 Cent. 50 Cent. Do your homework. The 50 Cent mix. Remember all the mixtapes, JD? 50 Cent came out. Killing niggas. Remember? Rapping on everybody beats. Smothering everybody's shit. Every time you look up, Blood got a new mixtape out with 30, 40 songs on it. Taking everybody's shit. Missy shit. Shit. Dre shit. Whoever shit. And every time you turn around, Blood got a new mixtape out. Blood got a new mixtape. Blood. Next thing you know, he number one. Weezy, he wasn't number one. Then he started all them songs, all the mixtapes, all the mixtapes, all the number one. Messy Mar, like not on that level, but yeah. far as on some street yeah. shit, yeah. on some underground Bay Area street shit. Yeah. It ain't Sibo no more. It ain't Killer Tay. It ain't the Mob Figures. It ain't it ain't um, Keek. It ain't none of them niggas. It's the one nigga that put out more records than all of them. Messy more. That nigga did do that. Good music, fast. Good music, fast. Good music. So that means you gotta learn how to go in the studio and make some good shit fast. Not make some shit fast, make some good shit fast. Whatever you was taking, it, it took you two days to make it, you gotta learn how to do that shit in an hour now. And keep 
making shit. Keep making shit. Keep making shit. And it gotta be on hot niggas beats. It gotta be on hot beats. It gotta be on niggas. Not a nigga that got tight beats. No, a nigga that's really a producer that really makes some smashing shit. And it's a couple niggas to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? And use that wrong kind. Use that Mitchie Slick all you want. Just don't fuck the name off. You know what I'm saying? Don't be getting no niggas. Tell them nigga you gonna pay them and don't pay them. Don't be doing. Tell a nigga get money from niggas and then don't go do the verse and all that shit. Or nigga pay you and don't go do the show and all that shit. Get your live performance right. That's it. Keep it 100. Business is business, business, personal, homies is piss personal. Make the good music fast and then start practicing and rehearsing blood for doing live shows. Cause I'm starting to do it now. We don't gotta wait for no big deal. The nigga Mac 10 said he gonna fuck with me now though. Supposed to do the contract this week, my nigga. He said he wanna do it this week. And he said not only just with me, he said I could put out nigga shit and all that shit. So I, I that don't mean dollar signs to me, but that do mean more than what we ever had before.